Today I will show you my copies of the Soul Calibur games. What I own anyway, starting with Soul Calibur 4 for the PS3. So the cover here shows Darth Vader, Ivy and Nightmare. Alternatively, if you have the Xbox 360 version, the cover will show Yoda at the top, Hilda and Siegfried. Now, Darth Vader is exclusive to PS3 and Yoda is exclusive to the Xbox 360. Uh, also, both became available as DS DLC for each console. Right, so there's a case there, there's the back of it. Right, it's two players, obviously it's a fighting game. Uh, from the makers of Tekken. Right, so inside we have the Blu-ray disc, as you can see there. Right, nothing special, just a regular Blu-ray disc. And you also have the booklet or the instruction manual. Right, and inside, there we are. Table of contents, setting up controls, starting the game, uh, screen guides and rules, basic techniques, uh, more basic techniques, advanced gameplays, different game modes, uh, character creation, which is uh, yeah, which is pretty good, I would say, the character creation in, um, in Soul Calibur 4. Uh, and then, um, yeah, credits, bunch of credits, warranty, notes, and that is it. So that is Soul Calibur 4. No, not, 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 not much to it. Alright. Okay, next up is Soul Calibur 5. This time, the Collector's Edition for the PS3, right? This collector's edition is, uh, I would say, it's, pr it's pretty unique because it's in the shape of a book. Right, there, there's the front, right? There is the spine, you see that? So, essentially, you can always put this amongst your book collection and it wouldn't look out of place, right? Look at that, all right? Obviously, it's not a real book. Um, and there is the back of it, right? Obviously, it shows you the, the collector's edition content and um, all the game details and, and what, what you can expect. Right, 25 characters, 12 new warriors, etc, etc. Okay, alright, so if I take it off of the sleeve here, um, hopefully I can, come on. It's a bit, there we go. It does look like a book. Right, the whole box is, look, looks like a book. Look at that. It even has the grooves. <laughs> hmm. See, so like I said, you can put this on a... Um, on a bookshelf and yeah it looks just like any other book and, and until you look closely and it says Soul Calibur 5 okay anyway uh, inside right so let's open up and again we open up like a book there we go All right so inside of the cover the front cover we have the making of DVD which is right there uh, and you know actually this is a uh, fake leather obviously um, it is also lined with velvet on this side all right um, on the right hand side we have the game so let's let's take a look at it here we go the game disc itself uh, case sorry All right, and there's the back okay inside oh there we are we've got the um, blu-ray disc for the ps3 and we've got a couple of flat things here to uh, show you number one uh, we have the DLC for the um, uh, Dark Knight and the White Knight costumes for character creation mode uh, there we are. The code is obviously printed um, on the back, right? There is the booklet or the instruction manual again, right? There it is. Getting started. You know, the usual uh, astral home, game screen, offline play. Uh, there's also character creation mode uh, again, and there it is. And oh, by the way, um, as you may have noticed, the guest character in Soul Calibur 4 is Darth Vader. The guest character in Soul Calibur 5 is Ezio, right, from Assassin's Creed, just in case you haven't figured that out yet. Okay, so there's the game, there, right? Now, below that, we have the original soundtrack CD of Soul Calibur 5. There we are. Right, there's also a parchment letter. Uh, now, this is addressed from the directors and the producers of the game. There we are, it's gonna, right there. You know what? You know what would have been nice. What would have been nicer if this was real? If this was a real, um, what is it? Uh, what, what do you call these? Uh, stamp, like uh, wax stamps. That 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 would have been cool, right? But yeah, and there is the back of it. 
right? And inside, like I said, it's just a, um, yeah, it's, it's a letter uh, ad addressed from the uh, director and the producer. There we are. Nice touch. Right, just in case you want to read it, there we go. You can pause it there. Boom. Okay. Uh, underneath that is a sign art showing uh, Patroclus by the dev team. Hopefully I've said that name right. I've, I've got no idea if I've butchered it. I probably did. But there it is. Very nice. And finally, we have the art book. There we are. There's the back. Oh, you can join the community. All right, so let's see what's inside. Obviously, table of contents. All right, there we are. There's a basically it's a um, uh, it's a biography for each character with a artwork, Pira. Viola. I'm gonna try and get to um, all of these, right? So bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm sitting on a little awkward angle here. Zwei. Natsu. Oops. Maxi Siegfried Nightmare Mitsurugi Voldo Tira Builder, Ivy, Cervantes, Yoshimitsu, almost there, Raphael, Astroth, Aeon, and Dampier. This is a. Uh, I think you got to buy this character. Uh, it's it's another DLC. I don't think I have him. And finally, Ezio. There we are. And the track list. All right. But there it is. Uh, but yeah, that's everything you get in uh, Soul Calibur Five Collector's Edition for the PS3. All right. So it's uh, it's, it's it's very nice. Um, I mean, yeah. Uh, the way it looks like a book. Very nice indeed. There we are. Let's put it right there. Okay. Now, the last Soul Calibur game made, Soul Calibur 6. Okay. Uh, but again, this time, <laughs> it is the collector's edition for this. It's a bit big. I'm going to try to put it. There we go. Uh, for the PS4, this time. Right there. Okay. Um, so it comes with a sleeve, as you can see here. Right. But there's a front, there's a front of the sleeve. I'm going to put this out of the way so that I can move it a little bit uh, further. There we go. It's it's yeah. It's it's a, it's a decent size one. Um, there is the there's one side. So that's what the collector's edition uh, contains, right? The full game and a Sofitia figure, a 35 centimeter figure, and then you've got all the you know the digital content, season pass, and everything. That is the back of it, right? Uh, and there is the other side of this. Okay. All right. So let's open it up. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to open up this sleeve. Now the box inside uh, gives you a different um, image altogether, right? So you've got a, uh, a nice uh, Sofitia figurine image here, right? On one side is um, Soul Edge. Pretty sure I got that right. On the back is just you know the name of the character, uh, nickname, birthplace. I'm going to story, weapon, fighting. So Let's see if you can, there it is, so you can read it. There we are, right? And that is the story weapon and the fighting style. So you can have a read of that. Okay, uh, and on one side is um, Soul Calibur, the, um, the, the good weapon. Okay, all right, so let's open it up. 
uh, and I'll show you what's inside. So here we go. I'm gonna have to do it this way, unfortunately. There we are, and there's the game. Okay, Soul Calibur 6. So okay, if I take this out um, and put this back like that, there is the game there. All right. Again, nothing special. The inside just contains uh, that, the, uh, the Blu-ray disc, and this, um, yeah, I've got, I don't know what this is, Epic Rewards Club with a code, and also the Season Pass code for Soul Calibur 6 with the code down below, right? And that is it. There's no, yeah, there's no um, booklet, no, no guide, uh, no instruction manual, nothing, all right? Okay, now, um, I'll show you the figurine, okay? So uh, bear with me. It's, it's, it's quite big. I'm going to take off the um, uh, the top bit first of all, right? Which is this? Um, it's, it's for the it's for the the, the Blu-ray case. And let's take this out. There we are. Right. Just to prove to you, there's nothing else in the box. There it is. Nothing else in the box besides the um, yeah the figurine. Okay. So let's close the top. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna put this out of the way just uh, for a while so that you can see the whole, uh, there, are, there is the figurine, the Sophitia figurine. Um, now, unfortunately, I won't be putting the, I'll, I'll have to show you this, okay? So I'm gonna take this out, out of the um, uh, plastic bowl. Ooh, that's, uh... apologies for this. For the noise. Okay. There it is. There is the Sofitia figurine, right? And I'm gonna take the plastic out. There we are. Look at that, that's very nice. And there is the sword, by the way. Now this sword obviously goes in here. However, if you take a look uh, at at her hand closely, it it's um it's it's pretty tight plastic, so and I don't want to be taking, you know, taking the sword, putting the sword back on and off again from her hand because I don't want to break her fingers trying to take the sword off and then putting it back on again and off and and so forth. I want to keep the statue uh, intact, but it's very nice um, indeed. Uh, nothing can come off, unfortunately. Um, this doesn't. I mean, if you take a look at that, that's yeah, that's that's a solid plastic. Um, but with the sword, it roughly looks like that. Oh, let's just put it there, it just roughly looks like that. Um, but yeah, now, okay, fair enough. Some of you may be asking, what's the point of getting a collector's edition with a figurine if you're not going to display it? Well, my answer would be, I do not have the space to put on display. I literally do not have space, unfortunately. Um, and plus, I would like to keep my collector's edition in one piece instead of multiple pieces. And I don't want to break anything. It's such a beautiful statue. I, I, yeah, I don't want to break anything. Finally, there is a bonus keychain that I received for buying the collector's edition. There it is right there. Hopefully you can see that. It's a small keychain. I'll, I'll take it off of the, um, uh, the plastic uh, bag here. All right. There it is. Okay, hopefully you can see that. I'll, uh, I'm gonna try to adjust the zoom a little bit so you can see. It's um, it's basically soul, uh, soul blade. Oh man, zoom is really bad. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you you can you can see. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. There it is. Right. It's very nice. So that is the bonus keychain that I've got. Uh, yeah, for purchasing the the game. Okay. Uh, anywho, that's it for my collection of uh, Soul Calibur games. Thank you for watching, and you haven't, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do, and hit that like button. And I'll see you all in the next video.